Welcome back to another one of my exciting adventures here in the heart of Middle Earth. My friends and I are going to do an overnight hike to the Liverpool Hut along the West Matuki Tuki uh, Valley Track. How long is this supposed to stay, guys? Six hours? Seven hours? Something, Something like that. Six or seven hours, supposedly. But we'll see how long it actually takes. And uh, hopefully it's awesome. Damn, that sheep got fucked up. <laughs> so we're just coming up on the Aspiring Hut, which is the first hut along the Matuki Tuki Valley here. I lied, this is not the Aspiring Hut, it is the Cascade Hut. And it looks like a fucking barn. Did you just do the double guns? I just double gunned you. Yes. <laughs> now, we're at the Aspiring Hut. Shit, I can walk straighter when I'm hammered. Dude, this is fucking dope. So that nice easy stride that we were taking throughout the valley earlier has come to a, an unfortunate end and now it's pretty much just straight up the mountainside. It's supposed to be about two hours. Lunch break. Fuck. What in the actual fuck? Holy shit that is steep. Yes! <laughs> that was fun, let's never do that again. If you don't know anything about Kias, they will steal all of your things. No, oh, one just took a shit. Nice. I can respect that because I'm about to do the same. <laughs> so, Flo, how was it taking a shit in this awesome toilet? Do you know what? I think it's the best I've ever had. Really? Yeah. Cool. My turn. <laughs> Man, I'm not gonna lie, they really fucked up putting this window facing this way. When they could have paced it that way. Just fucking poor design. Cool. How do I fucking close this thing? <laughs> How cool would it be if this toilet just dropped it straight off the mountainside? I'd be thrilled. Alright, you don't want to watch this. We may just have been hiking for the past almost six hours, but... Just sitting around the hut isn't that exciting, so we're going for a bit of a wander. Now, if you look just ahead of me, you can see the elusive Sasquatch in his natural habitat. Absolutely fascinating.
Mm. Camping done right. <laughs> How's your meal, Steven? Best meal I ever had. He's lying and <laughs> shit. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Not fully good. <laughs> Laziness does not pay off. He's got a nice bag of mush. Mm. Mm. Is that brown stuff? Is that brown stuff. Guess what that is? Some brown chicken. <laughs> I hope it just Fresh gets. <laughs> if you spew, make sure you let me know so I can get that on video. <laughs> uh, it seems like a decent spot to post up for a while. Why not? <laughs> Tea bag. <laughs> hey, hey, I don't appreciate your negativity, <laughs> mister. <laughs> Found our little spots to sleep for the night. Oh, there we go. Yep. Be keen to eat some Kias right now, to be honest. Just out of fucking spite. Woken up way too early by these little assholes. Yeah, you're real annoying, you know that. If you expect to uh, sleep in if you stay the night up here, don't. Because the Kias will not allow for that. Fucking dicks. So what have we learned about staying up at the Liverpool hut for the night? Most important thing is that the hut passes are 15 bucks each. You can pick them up from the Department of Conservation office in Wanaka. However, having a hut pass does not guarantee that you have a sleeping mat for the night. It is still first come first serve. For some reason the Department of Conservation will sell an unlimited number of hut passes, although there are only 10 bunks. Get here as early as possible. There were a few people that showed up late and they had to sleep on the floor. Sucks to be them. Even in the summer, the temperature does drop down quite a bit. Bring earplugs or headphones because people snore a lot in these huts. If you're going to sleep outside like we did, the sand flies here are terrible. So make sure you go to bed with some insect repellent all over your face and hands or whatever else you're going to have exposed out of your sleeping bag. Akia's sole purpose for existence is to fuck with you and fuck with all your things. Be prepared for that. You don't need to worry about setting an alarm because the Kias will wake you up as soon as there's the slightest shred of daylight. Shut up! <laughs> Fuck off. Keep an eye on all of your shit, otherwise the Kias will take it and throw it off of a mountain. Be aware that once you get close to the top, it gets super steep and super sketchy, so if you don't like heights, maybe this hike is not for you. There's also zero toilet paper in the toilet, so make sure that you bring your own. And if you do bring your own toilet paper, maybe start charging people for it, because everybody has asked me for mine. Well, we're going to start our descent very soon. I'm not going to record that. You guys saw me getting up here, so you can figure out how to get down. 